Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hey, Hello. Pedro, how are you? Sure. Fine, teacher. Excellent, nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Hey. Hi, Josue, hi, Ana, how are you? How? Fine, and you, teacher? I'm fine, thanks. I'm ready for the class. Are you ready for the class? Yes, always I'm ready for the class. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Hi, Josue. Hi, Mr. Denise. How are you? I'm okay. And you? How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Excellent. Um, Hi, Saida. Hello. Teacher. Tell me, Pedro. And, uh, the question have uh, some solution uh yeah i asked uh to one person in uh inglés corporativo and they told me that they were going to find the solution okay because i told them okay you know i did it and it wasn't correct my students did it and it wasn't correct okay so we need to wait okay we need to wait a little bit <clears throat> and when I have an answer, of course, I will tell you what the answer is, okay? Because I tried in different ways uh, and I, I cannot find the correct question, okay? But they are going to tell me, okay? Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Igual, let's Teacher, have... But the two, mm -hmm. form, the two form is a correct too. Excuse me? The two form is, is correct too. No, in that case, it will be only how well do you, okay? Because mm -hmm. the answer is pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. but uh, yes, I, I understand. Is my point is the two forms or the two question sentences are correct. If possible, using the can is more correct. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the two forms is correct. Yeah, the, the, the two forms are correct. Mm -hmm. The two forms are correct. Mm -hmm. uh, it's and to put the, in this sentence, in this case. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I don't know what the answer is according to the system in the platform. So okay. uh -huh. we need to wait. Uh -huh. We need to wait. Sometimes maybe they have a one word different. Okay. So yeah, we need to wait uh, a little bit, okay? Um, yeah, let's be patient. <laughs> okay, hi Ivania, how are you? I'm fine, thank you for coming. Well, thank you for attending to the class, okay? Um, I know that sometimes we are a little bit busy and tired, okay, but we can make this class, okay? We are going to learn a lot in this class, okay? We are going to wait two minutes more uh, so that our classmates uh, come to the class, okay? Um, what I wanted to say is that it doesn't matter if you don't finish that exercise, you can continue with the other exercises, okay? Um, and you can do, and, and you can go back to that exercise and do it again, okay? So don't stop because of the exercise. You can continue, okay? You can continue and when I write the answer, you can go back and write the correct answer, okay? So don't worry, you can continue normally, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. All right, just give me a second. I need to send a message to the other group. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we are going to begin, okay? And then our classmates are going to come, right? So uh, what was the topic yesterday? Who can tell me? What was the topic yesterday? A different question for using who, love, often, uh -huh. who long, 
Who, who good are you? Okay, who yeah. Are Okay, thank you. We have different questions using the phrase or using the word how, okay? How often, uh, how well, okay? How long? Uh, you were asking me questions, okay? And now we're going to change it and I am going to ask questions to you, okay? To see if you remember uh, how to answer these questions, okay? So let me share my screen. There you have. It. Okay. So um, we were discussing some phrases uh, in the previous class. We said that all, we can answer using time phrases. Okay. For example, once a year, twice a week. Okay. We have different phrases, and also uh, we have frequency adverbs, which what which we have, for example. Uh, sometimes, always, often, never, uh, never, usually, hardly ever, readily, okay? You know how to use those phrases, so that's very easy, okay? And then we have questions using how. The first one was how often, okay? And you can answer with a time phrase, okay? For example, once a week, twice a week, three times a month, okay, or every day. Or you can say a frequency adverb, like always, sometimes, never, okay? That was number one. The next one was how long, okay, how long? Uh, you can answer with minutes, you can answer with hours, you can answer with months or you can answer with years, okay? We have different options to answer to these questions, okay? And finally, we have how well, okay? How well? In this case, we have three answers. Pretty well, about average, okay? And not pretty well, okay? So those are the three answers. And also we have how good. The difference is that we are using R, okay? Remember, we are using R for these questions. And the answers can be pretty good, okay, not so good, okay? So I have some questions over here, okay? I have some questions over here. And I'm going to write the answer that you tell me, okay? For example, uh, Pedro, how often do you go to church, Pedro? Um, I, um, I go to the church sometimes. Sometimes, okay, perfect, okay? You can say sometimes I go to the church, I sometimes go to the church or I go to the church sometimes, okay, perfect. Josue, how good are you at English? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, Josue, sorry, we cannot listen to you. Okay, there okay. you go. listen? Yeah, we can listen to yeah, you. Okay. How good are you at English? Uh -huh. I think uh, about average. About average, okay. Yeah. Uh, you can say about average, or in this case, since we have how good, you can say, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. That is another answer, okay? Okay. If you tell me about average, yeah, I understand. Okay? But okay. let's say that the, the best one is okay. Okay, okay. okay thank you, Josue. Okay. Anna, hi, Anna. Hi, teacher. Uh, how long do you have a break at work? Uh, 10 minutes. Oh, okay. That's very short. Yes. <laughs> okay. 10 minutes. Okay. 10 minutes. All right. Perfect. Um, okay. The next one. 
Um, let's see. Mr. Molina, welcome, Mr. Molina. Thank you. How Good evening. Well, good evening. A question for you, Mr. Molina. How well do you fix a car? About the average. Okay, about average. Okay. For example, a wheel, a rueda, you can fix it? Ah, yeah, pretty well. Ah, excellent, okay. You don't cry, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people cry when they have a, a, a flat tire, okay? My sister cries when she has a flat tire <laughs> because she cannot do it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Molina. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to have Saida. Hi, Saida. Hi, teacher. How long do you check your cell phone in the morning? Mm, one hour. One hour. Okay, nice. When you wake up or or later? Later. Ah, uh, later. Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Ivania. Hi, Ivania. How well do you sing? Uh, about average. About average. Okay, nice. <laughs> In a karaoke? No. Uh, try <laughs> one way. One way. In what? Try one times with the term of us. Uh huh. Once, one time or once? Uh huh. Once. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Nice. Nice. Good. Okay. Let's see, Pedro, one more time. How good are you at history? Uh, okay. 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 Perfect. Okay. Like so so, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. And the last one, let's see. The last one, let's see. I will ask uh, Anna, how often do you check Facebook, Anna? Uh, three times a day. Oh, ah, okay, three times a day. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you see, it is very easy to answer these type of questions, okay? You just need to remember uh the correct uh the correct answer okay all right now today we are going to see a new topic okay which is the simple past okay the simple past for this we are going to practice a short conversation okay so listen to me so what did you do last weekend meg oh i had a great time I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to look to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A, okay? Um, do you see a new word? Alguna palabra que no conozcan de por acá? Probablemente hay algunos verbos que quizás no los hayan visto, right? Pero enfoquémonos en otras palabras. O cualquier palabra que usted me diga, trato de buscarle the, the meaning, okay, el significado. Any new word? Mm -hmm. No? For example, what is the meaning of downtown? Is that middle of city? The middle of the city, okay, or the center of the city. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see, weekend. What is the meaning of weekend? Explain to me in English, okay? What is the meaning of weekend? On Saturday and Sunday. Excellent. And... Uh -huh. yes. Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes Friday too, okay? Friday too can be weekend. Okay, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, perfect. I'm going to ask two people to read the conversation, okay? Let's see. Um, Josue, you are going to be Rick, okay? 
you're Rick. And uh, Ivania, you are Meg. Okay? Okay. Let's okay. read, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what did you do last week, Meg? Oh, I have a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Sounds like fun. Did you go to, to Loki's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed at home and studied for today, Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. An A. Perfect. A. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Josue. Thank you, Ivania. Okay, let's see the next one. Rick, uh, you're going to be, sorry, Pedro, you're going to be Rick, okay? And Anna, you're okay. going to be Meg. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sound like fun? Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to the new place in downtown. How about, how about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed at home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So, if you see, we have some verbs that are a little bit different, okay? And the pronunciation is going to change for some verbs, okay? But first, uh, we are going to see uh, some rules that are very easy to remember about the simple past, okay? So far, we know things in the present, okay? For example, I take a shower, I go to work, okay? That is the present. But we're going to talk about the past, okay? The past. Things that, for example, you did yesterday, uh, last month, last year, okay? Uh, we are going to see some uh, phrases. First, we're going to make a difference between the negative sentences, okay? And you're going to see that this is very easy. For example, uh, sentence number one. Ivania, can you read sentence number one, please? Sure. Mm -hmm. I don't play soccer in the morning. Thank you. I don't play soccer in the morning. That is a sentence in negative in the present, okay? Saida, can you read this, the sentence number two? I didn't play soccer. Soccer, perdón, yesterday. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is the difference between the sentence number one and sentence number two, people? Mm -hmm. What are some differences Don't that didn't. you can see? Okay, didn't. That Don't, is didn't, uh -huh. and morning, and yesterday. Okay, perfect. Okay. Present and past. Mm -hmm. Excellent. The first one is in the present. The second one, the second one. is in the past. The past. Okay. If you see uh, sentence number one, we have done, okay? And also we have a phrase, okay? That says in the morning, okay? That means in the present, in the morning. In the sentence number two, I have didn't, okay? Don't is for the present. <coughs> didn't is for the past, okay? So, Another thing that I have different is the time, okay? Because number one is in the morning, and number two is yesterday, okay? Yesterday. So they help us to say sentences in the past, okay? Uh, we're going to see another example. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see, Pedro, can you read a sentence uh, that says, he, please? He doesn't work in the restaurant. Okay, he doesn't work okay. in a restaurant. Perfect. Okay, perfect. 
Um, let's Teacher. see. Yes, tell me. Mm -hmm. um, for example, um, you have um, the time and uh, today and yesterday, but mm -hmm. it's in afternoon, is the difference is a three hours or five hours in the same day is possible uh, is a for example uh, seven uh, night o'clock for example in the the activity is in the uh, seven a.m in the morning in uh -huh, i i didn't play soccer today in the morning it's excellent correct uh -huh. or, or no, that's correct. Okay. Uh -huh, that is correct. Okay. Because right now it is 8 p.m., okay? And if you talk about, for example, 10 a.m. in the morning, that is the past, okay? That is okay. the past. Uh -huh. Right now it is <clears throat> 8 p.m. If you want to say an activity that you didn't do uh, in the afternoon, you are going to use the past, okay? Because... That time is in the past, okay, the afternoon. Right now, it is evening, okay? In the past, we have mm -hmm. afternoon, we have the morning, and we have yesterday, okay? Which is another form of the past. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay, thank you. No problem, okay? I'm going to change this I for he, okay? Um, so, um, Pedro read, uh, he doesn't work in, the rest, in a restaurant, okay? Now, I have another sentence, okay? Let's see, Josue, can you read the sentence number two, please? Okay. He does, uh, uh, past or present? Uh, the, the past. Or both. Mm -hmm. Okay, the past. He didn't go to the cinema last week. Okay, thank you. He didn't go to the cinema last week. Okay, if you see in this sentence, I am using he. And you know that in the present, I need to change the verb, but only in affirmative sentences, okay? For example, if I say this sentence in the present, how is it in the present, this sentence? I mean, sorry, in the in affirmative. How is he doesn't work in a restaurant in affirmative? Mm -hmm. He does work in a restaurant. Mm, do we use does? Uh-huh. That's we use it for questions, okay? Mm -hmm. So how is this sentence in the present? Uh, in affirmative, sorry. What is the verb? He works in a restaurant. Excellent, excellent, Mr. Molina. He works in a restaurant, okay? In the present, we don't use doesn't. We use doesn't for negative, okay? okay. And in the past, we don't change the verb, okay? No cambiamos el verbo ni en el presente cuando estamos hablando en negativo, ni en el pasado cuando estamos hablando de negativo, ¿ok? We don't change the verb, no lo cambiamos, ¿ok? Si la oración usando he estuviera en affirmative, yes, we need to change the verb, ¿ok? And in affirmative, uh, in the past, we are going to change the verb too. But I think this is easier. Creo que esa es la manera un poco más fácil de aprender uh, the past, con, la, con las cosas más sencillas, okay? I'm a, I am doing this so that you can compare, para que puedan comparar how we use the, 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 the present and the past, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so over here I have didn't. Mm -hmm. And what is the time in the past, in this case? He didn't go to the cinema last week. What is the phrase for the past? The what? time, the time for the last past. week. Excellent. Okay, last week. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. last week. That is telling me not this week, last week. Okay, in the past, last week. Okay, another example. Let's see. Uh, Saida, can you read this sentence, please? In the present, <coughs> we don't have class in the morning. Okay, we don't have classes in the morning. Okay. X. Mm -hmm. We don't have classes in the morning. So this is in the present, okay? And I am talking about the present a little bit. And the second part, let's see, Anna, can you read that one, please? 
We didn't have classes yesterday. Okay, we didn't have classes yesterday. Okay, this is false. Okay, we had classes yesterday. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are using didn't, okay, to make it negative. And also we use the phrase yesterday. Okay, yesterday. So I want you to tell me what are some activities that you didn't do yesterday. Okay, for example, in my case, um, I didn't go to the cinema yesterday. Okay. I didn't go to the cinema yesterday. What about you? Tell me some examples of activities that you didn't do yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone? I didn't go to the supermarket. Yesterday. Okay. I didn't yeah. go to the supermarket yesterday. Perfect. Uh huh. I Another person? I didn't play FIFA yesterday. Ah, Ivania, excellent. I didn't play FIFA yesterday. Mm -hmm, nice. Another example. I didn't go to the church yesterday. Okay, perfect. I didn't go to the church yesterday. Uh huh, perfect. Another example. Let me say uh, another example. I didn't. Um, I didn't. I didn't play. I didn't video. go to the gym. Okay. Yesterday. I didn't go to the gym yesterday. Okay. In my case, I didn't play video games yesterday. Okay. So I am saying activities in negative, but in the past. Okay. We just need to use didn't. Okay. So questions right now. Questions? No. 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 Okay. That's very easy, right? This is very easy. In the past, we are going to use didn't. In the present, I am going to use don't. Okay. So let's remember that. Um, as Mr. Pedro was saying, you can say some things that you didn't do in the morning because the morning is the past right now. Okay. Right now it is evening. And the past. Can be in the morning. For example, I uh, I didn't have breakfast in the morning. Okay, today okay. I didn't have breakfast. Okay, yesterday yes, but today I didn't have breakfast in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? Can you tell me some activities that you didn't do in the morning? Um, I I didn't watch uh, TV in the morning. Okay, perfect. Okay. You're talking about the past, okay? That was in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Did I you didn't listen to music uh -huh. in the morning. Excellent, okay? I didn't listen to music in the morning, okay? Maybe uh, later after the class, yes, okay? But in the past, no, okay? Uh, did you take a shower, people? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. In the, I didn't take a shower in the morning. Okay, if you say yes, uh, you know you don't have to use didn't. Okay, didn't is only for negative. Uh huh. Okay, okay. Uh huh. If you say yes, uh, in a few minutes we are going to see how to say sentences in affirmative. Okay. Okay. But this is only for negative. So if you didn't take a shower, you can say, "Teacher, I didn't take a shower in the morning." Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is negative. Okay, negative. Now we're going to see questions, okay? Questions, let's see. Uh, the first question, let's see. Anna, can you read the first one, please? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend, okay? That is a sentence, or oh, sorry, that is a question in the past. If you see, I have the auxiliary uh, do, okay? And then I have a sentence in the present. Okay, do you have a girlfriend? Okay, mm. now in the past, uh, if I am using didn't. didn't, okay, if I am using didn't in negative, I am going to use did to ask for the past, okay? I am going to use did, and also I need to say, I need to use a time expression. So, as I said before, we can use yesterday, okay? For example, did you take the bus yesterday? Okay. 
Did you take the bus yesterday? So I'm not saying today, okay? I mean, right now, okay? I said yesterday, okay? After work, did you take the bus, okay? Did you take the bus? Another example. We are going to do it with another person, okay? But I'm going to change uh, the subject so that you can understand it, okay? So, the present, let's see. Um, Mr. Molina, can you read the, the sentence, please, in the present? Does your sister have a car? Okay, does your sister have a car? The answer can be yes, she does, or no, she doesn't, okay? I think uh, all of you know that we can answer in that way, okay? Um, yes, she does, or no, she does, okay? The difference is that I'm using does because it is third person singular, okay? It is third person singular. Now, in the past, I don't have any difference, okay? Because for you, I'm going to use did. And for she, I am going to use did also, okay? In the present, well, for a negative, I use doesn't, and for the past, didn't. Don't, and in the past, didn't, okay? Yeah. It's the same, uh-huh, it is the same. Now, in a question, the auxiliary is did, okay? And also, I have a time expression, which is, last year okay so did your sister uh, oops did your okay. sister oh. go uh-huh go to the beach last year okay if you see i am not changing the verb okay tanto como en las preguntas como en las oraciones negativas nunca cambio ningún verbo okay eso es muy fácil porque solo usamos los verbos normales okay so don't worry about the verbs in negative and question Okay, you know that in affirmative, in the present, yes, you need to change some verbs, okay? For example, my sister goes to the beach, okay? My sister goes to the beach. Uh, my father has a car, okay? I have a car, okay? So, uh, in the present, yes, you need to change some verbs, but in the negative in question, no, okay? Um, another, another example, okay? Let's see, I have this one. I'm going to ask Pedro, please, read this, sent this question. Uh, do we play soccer during class? Okay, do we play soccer in the class? <laughs> okay, of course, we don't, okay? We don't play soccer during class, okay? Uh, what about the past, okay? Let's see, mm, Saida, can you read this sentence, please? This question, did we sorry. practice questions yesterday? Okay, did we practice questions yesterday? Okay, so I am asking. Yes, we did. Uh -huh. Yes, we did, excellent. Okay, yes, we did. Okay, we practiced mm -hmm. uh, questions yesterday. Okay, so do you have any questions, people? I I don't have any question for you. Okay, excellent, thank you. <laughs> so, what do I use for the present? Uh, do or did? The do, do, do. Uh-huh, okay, or I can use does, okay? Does, do if and it's, does. If it's he or she or it, okay? And what do I use for the past? Did. Did. Did, excellent. What about negative? What about negative? Um, did, in did the it. present, is do, don't or does in the past. Okay. Uh huh. Excellent. Okay. For the present, I use don't or doesn't. Okay. Depending on the subject. Okay. For example, he doesn't. I don't. Okay. But in in the past, I can say I didn't. She didn't. We didn't. Okay. We don't have differences, okay? We don't have differences. So, is it clear? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. clear. Okay, very easy, right? Very easy. <laughs> okay, now get ready. We are ready for the next part, okay? 
affirmative sentences, affirmative sentences. Now, um, let's see. You have the two sentences in the present and in the past. What is the difference that you see? In the verb. In the, ah, in the verb. In the verb, excellent. We have the letters E D. and D. Okay. I work. Uh -huh. So in the present is, I work in the morning. Okay, very simple. I understand that. But in the past, I have I worked in the afternoon. Okay. Yes, I do. I don't have did, okay? I don't have did, I don't have I didn't, because this is in affirmative, okay? This is in affirmative. So in affirmative, we are going to change the verb, okay? In this case, yes, we have to change the verb, okay? Let's see another example. She watches movies every Saturday. And in the past, she watched a movie last Sunday. Sunday. What are some differences that you can see here? The verb. Okay, I have the verb in ED. Mm -hmm. Another difference? In the last Sunday, ah. and the other is every, every Sunday. Uh huh, okay. Ah, sorry. sorry, Saturday. <laughs> ah, Saturday, uh huh, okay, perfect. Uh, so in this case, uh, where is it? Yeah, it's here. In this case, every Saturday is a routine. Okay, every Saturday is a routine. Now, last Sunday is in the past. Okay, so that is giving me information. Okay, this is not a routine. This is in the past. Okay, and the last example. They use the computer every day. <laughs> And they used the computer in the morning. What is another difference? Mm -hmm. in, the, in the bear and the, and the uh, time. And the time, okay, perfect. Yeah. So I have, in this case, you always, well, most of the times you have uh, ED, okay? <laughs> Even though the main verb is use, okay? Use. But in this case, uh, I only add D because I have ED, okay? I only add uh, D. And in the morning, okay, that is the time. As we mm -hmm. were explaining, right now is evening, okay? So in the morning is in the past, okay? The yeah. morning is in the past, okay? So uh, we are going to see how to change the verbs, okay? Because, uh, most of the verbs, the majority of the verbs, you change them only adding ed, okay, ed. But there are other verbs uh, that need to be changed in a different way, okay? And we're going to practice the easy ones first and the more difficult, uh, the, the most difficult ones tomorrow, okay? So right now we're going to practice uh, ED, okay, ED. Now, I know that it's very easy to add ED to the verbs. However, uh, there is some pronunciation that we need to respect, okay? We need to respect some pronunciation. And uh, we are going to see that. But first, these are some time expressions that we use about the past, okay? For example, I say um, yesterday, I can say last week, okay? I can say last month, okay? I can say last year, I can say uh, last Monday, last Tuesday, last Wednesday, okay? I can say uh, different days for expressing in the past, okay? Um, also, I can say one or two or three days ago. What is the meaning of ago? Ago. Ago is uh, in the last time. In the last time, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want to translate it, it's like um, if you hace say un... one day ago, it's like, yeah, hace un día. Okay. Hace un día. Mm -hmm. The thing is that it's in a different position in Spanish, okay? Mm -hmm. 
or I can say one, uh, sorry, three weeks ago, hace tres semanas, okay? Three weeks ago, okay? Three weeks ago. In Spanish, we say, uh, we say hace and then the time. In English, we say the time and then ago, <laughs> okay? So it is the opposite, okay? It is the opposite. Also, you can say years, okay? Years. For example, teacher, when was your graduation? Ah, my graduation was four, no, five years ago, okay? Five years ago, as a cinco años, okay? Five years ago. Mm -hmm. So these are time expressions that are very common when we talk about the past, okay? Now, uh, in English, we have two types of verbs. We have regular verbs and we have irregular verbs, okay? Regular verbs are the ones that we add only ed, okay? For example, worked, okay? That is a regular verb because we add only ed. Watch, that is another regular verb because we add ed. Use, that is another regular verb because we add ed, okay? So we're going to learn those rules. Vamos a aprender esas reglas de pronunciación porque no todos se dicen igual, ¿ok? Aunque se escriban con ED al final, cada uno tiene su, su pronunciación diferente. Y eso es algo que sí tenemos que memorizar, ¿ok? Porque muchas, muchas personas dicen worked, watched, used. Uh, esa es la manera que, como así se lee o como así está escrito, así lo decimos. Sin embargo, está 100% incorrecto, ¿ok? Cada una de esas se pronuncia o se dice de una manera diferente. Y eso es lo que vamos a tratar de aprender ahora. ¿Ok? So, uh, como mencionaba, regular verbs, a la mayoría le ponemos ED. For example, work. ¿Ok? Play. Fix. Change. Dance. ¿Ok? All those verbs are regular. Solo le agregamos ED. ¿Ok? Very simple. Now, the first pronunciation that we are going to practice is id. Repeat, id. 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 That is the first pronunciation that we are going to learn. Okay? What type Worthy. of pronunciation is this? For example, what is the last letter of work? Worthy. No, what is the last letter? ¿Cuál es la última mm -hmm. letra of work? Sí. Oh. Work. K. K. Uh -huh. Work. Okay. So uh, we cannot we cannot say work it, okay? Because mm -hmm. we are going to use the sound id only when the last letter is a letter D or a, or a letter T. Okay. Let's see. Um, play. What is the last letter? Why? Why? So we cannot say play it, no, okay, that is incorrect. Let's see, fix, what is Ready. the last letter? X. Right. X, okay, X. 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 So we cannot say fix it, okay, that is incorrect. I need to look for verbs that finish with the letter D or with the letter T, okay? For example, want, okay, want. In the past, it is not wanted. It is wanted, okay? Wanted, uh -huh. because want finishes with the letter T. Another example, need. I need money, okay? <laughs> I need money. So in the past, I needed money, okay? Because the last letter is a letter D, okay? For example, if I say, I wanted a car, I wanted a car. What is the negative of that sentence? I wanted a car. Mm -hmm. I wanted well, a car. What is the negative well, sentence? I'm going to write it. I wanted uh, a car. I, this is the affirmative, OK? I, what is the negative? I don't want a car. This is I in the didn't. past. I didn't want a car. I didn't want a car. So I didn't want a car. 
Uh -huh. And what is the question? Do you want? Do it for the present. What is for the past? Did you want a car? Ah, excellent. Okay. Did I want a car? Okay. So over here, I can see the three, the three sentences. Affirmative, negative, and question. Okay. So affirmative, I wanted a car. Negative, I didn't want a car. Question, did I want a car? Okay. And that is using want. What about need? I'm going to use the, 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 um, the sentence, I need money. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, I needed money. Yeah. I needed money. Let's see. Okay, I needed money. What is the negative? I didn't. I didn't need money. Okay, I didn't need money. Okay, because I have didn't, I don't need to change the verb. Okay, that's not a problem. And uh, what about the question? Did I need money? Uh, did I need money? Okay, perfect. Okay, did I need money? So over here we can see the three cases, affirmative, negative, and question. So remember, that is a sound, if, okay? If, when the last letter of the verb is letter D, or letter T. And that is the correct pronunciation of ED, okay? Don't tell me uh, ne needed, no. Needed, okay? Needed. Needed. Uh -huh. needed. I have other examples, okay? Other examples. For example, vote. Vote. Okay? Vote. Um, in that case, vote. Um, we can say that, for example, um, let me see, the last letter is the letter T. Why? Because when I, when I change the verb from the present to the past, I add ED, okay? So I can say that the last letter is the letter T. So in the present is vote, in the past, what is the correct pronunciation? Tell me. Vote. 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 The correct pronunciation is? Vote. 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 In the present, a start. A start. Started. What is the correct pronunciation? Started. Uh huh. It started. Okay. Started. Uh huh. Started. Because the last letter is a letter D or a letter T, okay? Mm -hmm. Another example, chat. What is the correct pronunciation, chat people? Chat. 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 Uh -huh. chat. 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 Uh -huh. Decide. 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 What is the correct pronunciation? Decided. 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 Excellent, okay? Decided. Uh -huh. Decided, okay? So, Another one, paint. Paint. Painting. 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 Uh -huh. Painting. Uh -huh. Remember, the pronunciation is if, okay? If. Yeah. Paint, painted, okay? Painted. Include? Included. 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 Uh -huh. Included. Excellent, okay? Included. All right? So, these are some examples of sentences or words or verbs that finish with the letter D, okay? Highlight this, the letter, uh, let's say pink, <laughs> okay? The letter D or the letter T, okay? I need to look for verbs, okay? That finish with uh, letter D or letter T, okay? For example, can you tell me uh, one sentence using chat, okay, in the past? One sentence. Remember that we have some phrases like yesterday, last week, 
last month, last Monday, last Tuesday. So tell me uh, one sentence using chat in the past. I started English class yesterday. Ah, okay. I chatted in English yesterday. Excellent. Yes. Huh? Another example? Chatted? I didn't chat it two weeks ago. Uh, one more time, please. I didn't chat. Ah, excellent. I didn't two chat. Uh -huh. Two weeks ago. Okay, I didn't chat two weeks ago. Okay. Cuando uso didn't, no tengo que cambiar el verbo, ¿ok? Porque yeah. ya tengo el didn't. Uh -huh. Solo voy a cambiar el verbo para affirmatives, ¿ok? Another example, for example, um, need. ¿Alguien que me puede hacer una oración usando need in the past? Uh -huh. I, I need... The class English. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Ivania, you were saying one sentence? Yes, I needed uh, help yesterday. Ah, okay, I needed help yesterday. Okay. I needed help yesterday. Excellent. Okay. I needed help yesterday. Um, let's see another example. Or let's use a start. Okay. Start. Can you tell me one sentence using start, but in the past? I started the section two in the platform yesterday. Wow, excellent, okay. I started, uh -huh, started the section two in the platform yesterday. Okay, excellent, okay, excellent. Uh -huh. Another example, a start in the past. Mm -hmm. Someone else? What is something that you started, I don't know, last month, last year, uh, two days ago, three days ago? I started the emails in the morning in my computer in the job. Ah, okay, okay, nice, okay, perfect. Uh -huh. What about paint? Paint in the past. Uh -huh. Paint in the past. One sentence. I painted my home uh, the last year. Okay, excellent. I painted uh, my house or my home last year. Excellent. Uh -huh. Another person. I painted my car the last December. Ah, excellent. I painted my car the last December. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. The last example, please. Puede usar paint o puede usar cualquier otro verbo. No problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone else? Another example? No? Mm -hmm. I decided to study in English for uh, get a job. Ah, excellent. Okay. I decided to uh, study English to get a job. Okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So, uh, just remember, okay, when we have letter D and we have letter T at the end of the verb, we are going to pronounce it ID, okay? ID, okay? That is the correct pronunciation. Únicamente con los verbos que terminan con la letra D y con la letra T, okay? Por ejemplo, hay otros verbos. Por ejemplo, work termina con la letra K. Play termina con la letra Y, okay? En ese caso, mañana vamos a ver cómo se, se pronuncian estos, estos verbos, ¿ok? Porque no se puede decir id, porque ninguno de ellos termina con esta letra, ¿ok? Eh, esa pronunciación id es únicamente para los verbos que terminan con esa letra. Tomorrow we are going to see the others, ¿ok? Mañana vamos a seguir viendo los demás, ¿ok? okay. Um, any questions, people? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Algo que no les haya quedado claro? 
¿no? Ok, siento que la plata, eh, en la plataforma eh, van, a, van a tener que esperar un poquito para poder avanzar. Eh, pero igual, si usted quiere intentarlo, como es de opción múltiple, creo yo, eh, si usted quiere intentar hacerlo, eh, hágalo. Pero siento que es, es necesario por lo menos estudiar un poquito esto antes de poder seguir, porque creo que es primera vez que ven los verbos en pasado, ¿verdad? O ya los habían visto antes. Sí, sí, ya se habían visto antes. Ah, ya se habían visto antes. Sí, okay. en los módulos anteriores. Ah, ok, ok. Pero no está de más este, repasarlo, ¿verdad? Así Eso sí está muy bien. Uh -huh, okay. uh -huh. Así que vamos a, a practicar un poquito más esto porque yo sé que el, 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 los verbos en pasado son hasta cierto punto un dolor de cabeza para muchos. Sí. Así que eh, vamos a ir practicando poco a poco. All right. So, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, have a good night and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. I have a nice night. Good night. night. Have a good night. night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.